it's appalling, quite frankly. I, um, I'm getting video and, and pictures from uh, sources. We're on many radio stations across the state of Texas um, out of El Paso and what's going on there. It's, it's, it's like it's not even our country at this point in time. It's, it's something you would see. It's like the third world uh, type of stuff that's taking place in Texas at this point in time. That's how bad the situation has got at the border. Um, you know, lighten things up again and a, and a quick sub-reference. Border? What does that mean? Exactly. Uh, border is secure. I, I keep, you know, Inigo Montoya. I actually was Inigo Montoya for Halloween one year when I was in college. Princess Bride. Remember? You killed my father, Pipetto die. Remember the other line he had there? I oh, had a lot of good lines in that movie um, when uh, Bizzini kept talking about it. It's inconceivable. And he says, uh, uh, I don't think that word means what you think it means. And I, I, the word border, I don't think that word means what these people keep saying it. It's kind of like debt ceiling. Okay. There's no such thing. They keep saying debt ceiling, but it, again, it doesn't mean anything. Keep going through it. So we have an absolute disaster at the border. We have a humanitarian crisis. And, and again, we all see it. Uh, we get to watch videos of children, toddlers just being dropped off across, alongside the riverbed where people coming to save them. Um, we, we're told now the Biden administration is sending, oh, we're just sending troops to the border. 1,500 troops to the border. They're not going to do a damn thing outside of processing paperwork, okay? It's not like they're putting troops on the border to secure the border to keep people from coming in. We're sending 1,500 troops down there to process paperwork. Now, I want to fill you in on, on some, some information here because, again, we don't have the, – the, basically, the Biden administration is, here you go, come on in, come on in. Um, we don't want to detain you. We're going to give you parole. We're not going to process you. We're going to just let you go, and we're going to give you a date because it's quicker. It's quicker. You know, right now, um, the backlog is so great. I'm not making this up. The backlog is so great. And again, I, I'm a conservative guy. I'm not a Republican by any stretch. I'm a conservative guy. I believe in the Constitution. And I do believe that we need to have a secure border. I don't know what your argument is on the left, how you think that this is, this is okay. We can allow this to continue. Do you know that your first notice to appear, all these people that are coming in right now, and this is going to get progressively worse, first notice to appear in court uh, now has dates 10 years from now. 10 years from now. You don't have to, and again, what's going to happen in that point in time? Um, I, I know I've mentioned this before. I've talked about this on the podcast and the radio show before. Um, there's a, an act that was put together this is by Congresswoman um, uh, Congress Diaz from South Florida, the Miami area. And again, it, it's, it's politics and there has to be some need to compromise when it comes to immigration. Because again, I'm, I'm all for legal immigration. I'm all for assimilating people to our society. Well, this, this act, it's called the Dignity Act, and I want to go through it again. Um, first thing, first thing, um, it ends illegal immigration over once and for all. Um, it helps all of the people that are already here. Again, this, this, is, this is a sticking point. Uh, the, the, the elephants are whack jobs when it comes to this. I'm sorry, they are. We're going to round everybody up. We're going to round everybody up and we're going to get them out of the country. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Again, you know, and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get kidnapped by the guardians of the galaxy and, and, and join their band of misfits out in outer space. Um, I, I, it's ridiculous. Did you really think that uh, we're going to be able to grab everybody and ship them out of the country? No. I, I, again, you know, the, the whole concept. I, 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 
it's out of the bag here. We're going to have to deal with the problem at hand. So what this does is it tries to get those people out. And what, you know, Salazar says here, the yeah, Salazar it says gives dignity to people living in the shadows. Again, Dan, the yellow, many of the elephants got a problem with that. They broke the law. Okay. Okay. That, that's, that's all well and good. And you have a point, but does it solve the problem? No, no. Okay, uh, protects American workers and saves American industries. That's the three things that she points out in her piece. Okay, ending illegal immigration. Let's go through this. Fully, to fully secure the southern border, uh, restarts border contracts and completes border barrier construction, um, utilizing the best technology available to detect and stop crossings, um, adding 3,000 plus new border agents. And I, I would up that. Again, uh, the idea that we're going to add 80,000 uh, IRS agents, um, again, I I'd much rather be adding border agents, quite frankly. Just saying. Uh, 100% mandatory, and this is one of my favorites. I've been talking about this for years. Nationwide, E-Verify, and the hiring of illegal workers. What is E-Verify? Again, you're an employer. You have to check. Someone has to show paperwork, give you a number, social security number, green card. You put it into the system. Okay. Very simple. Is this person here legally or not? If they're not, they get thrown out. And if you go around E-Verify, employers should be punished. Tougher penalties for Smugglers, cartels, gangs, and traffickers. I mean, that's easy. You can have tougher penalties, but you actually have to enforce the law, and we don't do that. Uh, immediate deportation for criminals. It fixes the asylum system to stop, catch, and release. Last in, first out processing to stop the surge. Creates processing centers to hold immigrants while their cases are being decided. Increases judges and attorneys to expedite final decisions. First part. Now, here comes the part. The elephants are going to have trouble with, with this here. Provides a, in my opinion, a practical solution for undocumented. Okay. Immediate status and earned pathway for dreamers. And I, being honest, I, I don't have any, any problem with that. You, know, you, you were born here um, or you were brought here, uh, you know, illegally by your parents. I, I don't have any problem with that. Creates a, what they call a dignity path. Now this is important. 10 year temporary legal status for undocumented immigrants. You must pass a criminal background check over the, over the 10 years. You must pay $10,000 in restitution. Or you could do it over a 10 year period of time. You are not allowed. This is a big one. Nothing. You get no federal benefits. You get no entitlements, no handouts, no giveaways for that 10-year period of time. And we're going to extend this. We're going to add five years on. We got the dignity path, and then we also have what they're calling the redemption path. You complete the 10-year dignity program. Um. This is the next five years that you learn English and U.S. civics. You have to pay additional restitution. You have to do community service. You can earn permanent legal status and get in line. And um, I, I, I don't have any, any problem with this. It, it is a compromise. Uh, at some point in time, we're going to have to try to start solving problems here in this country rather than just scream at one another. There's going to have to be some sort of give and take when it comes to this because the, the, the status quo right now is it's a disaster. It is. And I know people say, well, you know, border was a hell of a lot better under Trump. You're right. You're right. But we still have some of these, these same problems. People are still getting in. We still have the issue with dreamers. We still have of all these undocumented workers here in this country. And like I said, um, we're going to ship them out. 
you, you know that's not going to happen, right? Anyway, watchdog on wallstreet.com, watchdog on wallstreet.com.